Hey guys, Kyle here from Backcountry Adventure Motorsports and today I'm going to be doing a suspension upgrade in the front forks and I have chosen to go with uh, the Nitron TVT uh, front cartridges. They're a really nice, uh, really nice cartridge. They've got um, rebound on one end, they've got compression on the other. Very easy to adjust and you can adjust pretty much on the fly with them. Um, they are considered racing suspension. Over here I've got my, um, my factory forks off the bike. Um, didn't I didn't do a haven't did a video to, to show how to take those off, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Just release the pinch bolts, remove the front wheel, they pretty much slide right out. Um, here I've got my Nitron toolkit. Um, unfortunately, there are a few specific tools that you have to have to be able to uh, install these into the forks. Um, depending on how quick you can do it, um, sometimes you might be able to get a loaner kit from um, from Nitron themselves. They might be able to send that to you. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable, we can always bring it to a local shop and have them do them for you. Um, I've got my Honda manual here. I've got uh, some upgraded fork seals, SKS heavy duty fork seals. These are great fork seals. To me, if you're going to be putting racing suspension that's got a, 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 a lot, you're going to be taking a beating, you better go with a better fork seal than what's already in there. And you're already going to have them apart, so you might as well change them anyway. And the SKS is, is a premium uh, fork seal. But again, Nitron, uh, the kit comes with two cartridges and, and springs. Um, it's, it's also a few adjustment tools for um, whenever you're riding your bike and you need to adjust on the fly. There's some, some little tools it comes with. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Um, we'll, we'll tear apart these uh, forks and we'll put the new stuff in. And um, this might uh, freak out some people as far as doing suspension. Really not that hard. Um, hopefully this video eases your mind. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so these forks are set up identical. Um, they're exactly the same as far as the removal process goes. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen this silver nut here, and that will loosen the, this is the cap. It'll loosen the cap, and uh, we're going to pour the oil out into a, uh, into a bucket or some kind of receptacle if you got it, and um, dispose of it the way you will, and then we will disassemble the top cap um, from the cartridge and remove the cartridge inside. All right, so this is a 15 16 nut here. Loosen that up, and like I said, that removes the, cart the, the top cap. On the bottom, there is a nut, or a bolt, I should say, that we're going to loosen that up and remove it, and that will allow the cartridge will slide all the way out. Definitely some things to have handy are some gloves as well as a, a roll of paper towels or shop towels. Uh, this can be a very messy job even though you drain all the oil out there's still oil everywhere. Alright so this bottom bolt here is a 19 millimeter and we're going to go ahead and remove that. So out comes the cartridge. Just lay this down, remove the spring. our bolt out of the bottom, hang on to that, and from here we're just going to separate the forks so we can install our new uh, fork seals. So for the fork seals we're going to take a small flat blade screwdriver and uh, go around here very gently and move this dust cover. Inside of that there will be a clip that we'll remove um, drive the new or drive the old seals out. All 
right, so there's your dust seal. Slide it down. And if you look, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Right down in there is a silver clip. That just pops right out, and that is what holds the, um, the seal in. Again, you can take a flatbed blade screwdriver. There's a little indention on it. Pry one side up comes right out. Now, should be able to take a driver and we'll drive that out. Alright, so we got the two apart. You actually don't need a driver. These are, since they are new, all you do is give it a couple whacks. Be gentle though because if you do it, if it's not coming out, you could uh, ruin these bushings here. Um, maybe a good idea to replace them if they're not, I mean if they don't, if they don't, if they look bad or if they're gouged up these are in great shape since the bikes new so we're just going to go ahead and keep them but we are going to pull these off take our washer and put these new fork seals in okay once you have your bushings and your seal and your dust cover out take a rag and some um, and some cleaner and you can flush this out really good they make a specific fork cleaner um, you can use uh, a brake cleaner that'll work just be very careful with the brake cleaner and don't overdo it or let it sit. If you make sure you let it air out really good or blow it out with the air hose and get all that out because that will break down your fluid on the inside. So we're going to clean out um, the inside of our fork tubes and all of our, and all of our other parts here and um, get the new fork seals put in. Um, one thing you want to do is take some electrical tape and wrap your, your, your edges there because when you slide this over you don't want to have, take a chance in cutting this lip because you'll have a leak so we'll go ahead and get that installed now another thing you should do is just take a little bit of your oil and um, again since this is a new bike this oil in here is fairly clean just take a little bit of your new oil and put it on the inside lip of that so just to make it slide over easy kind of start on one side go on just to make sure you don't hang hang up anything on that lip and then work it on And that's it. We'll do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so in order here, we've got our dust seal, our clip, our um, fork seal, our washer, our little bushing here, and then we clipped our other bushing on up here. Now we're just going to slide our fork tube on. Let everything kind of fall down in there. And then we're gonna take our driver and we're gonna drive our fork seal in. All right, once you got your seal driven in, you're gonna use that a little screwdriver again to put your clip in and then you're just going to uh, put your dust seal on. One good way to seat it is just kind of gently tap it this way and it, it seats it in. You don't have to use much force at all. Okay, so the way these forks are set up, the uh, left hand fork is going to be your compression and your right hand fork is going to be your rebound. I have the left hand fork so I'm going to be doing the compression side of this. So first thing you do getting this out of the box you're going to remove this is just barely hand tight you're going to remove the top cap set it aside you're going to remove this spacer as well as this spacer. That's step one. Alright, step two is you're going to take this right here and you're going to unscrew this. And you're going to remove your piston rod. A lot of thread on it. Alright, so gently remove your piston rod and make sure you set it somewhere that new dirt or dust can get in and then you just have this bottom aluminum piece here. So a couple things I didn't mention earlier. In the bottom of your fork tube when you remove your factory cartridge there is this spacer. This is not going to go back in there. Um, 
this piece here basically replaces that. So we're not going to be reusing this spacer. So make sure that if it didn't fall out or you didn't remove it to begin with, make sure it's out before you put this in. <clears throat> so in the kit is, well, in the tool kit is this adapter tool. And this slides over and it locks in with these little teeth. Just like that. You're going to take your factory bolt you're going to feed it in the bottom. You're going to put a little bit of Loctite on this or you can put it on the threads. Um, the, the kit or the instructions of the kit say to put some thread locker on there. So we're going to put a little bit of thread locker on there and we'll slide it in. Now I'm going to gently slide this in to this side, feeding it into the bottom and then threading it on the bottom screw. What I mentioned is that you're going to want to tighten this down to 25 foot-pounds and that's uh, per the manufacturer per Honda's uh, torque specs and that's what um, Nitron suggests is using the Honda specs so that it would be 25 foot-pounds. And then we can go ahead and remove that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the Nitron O2 synthetic fork oil. This is what's recommended for these forks. Um, you know, you might be able to use another weight, but when it comes to kind of a precision fork like this, I want to use what's recommended uh, from the manufacturer from Nitron. So um, uh, one quart of this should be enough. What we're going to do is we're going to add about half the amount of fluid that you're going to pour in there. So it's going to be about oh a quarter of a quart. We'll pour it in, and um, and then we're going to feed in the piston rod and uh, get that tightened up. Uh, this is where a fork vise comes in handy. I don't have one right now, so um, it can be done without it, but we're going to pour this in and then we'll insert the piston rod. Also, if you have a friend that's helping you out, that uh, is <laughs> very beneficial. Pour this down in there. All right, so we got our piston rod down in there. Um, we push it all the way down, make sure it's seated. And we take this um, other special tool that slides over and then we are going to thread how long those threads were thread that onto the tube body that's on the inside that we just torqued down All right. once you get that all threaded on we're going to torque this down to 20 newton meters or I believe it's 14.8 uh, just under 15 foot pounds so we'll get that torque down and proceed all right so the next step is to pull this piston rod up and we are going to temporarily install the fork cap just screw it on all right so now we're going to lift the, the uh, the outer fork up and we're going to screw this on about hand tight and we are going to pump this about 15 times 15 to 20 times to bleed the air out one two three Okay, so we've bled our um, forks out. We're going to remove the cap. Remove the cap and set it off to the side. Now we're going to slide our outer fork 
all the way down and we're going to slide our piston rod as far down as it'll go. Now you're going to take your Motion Pro or other brand of uh, fuel or uh, oil level gauge and you're going to set it to 160 millimeters. All right, so now we're ready to close the close the fork up. I'm gonna install the piston holder tool that goes on the end here. We're gonna use this compression tool and press this and press this down. And by doing so, that will allow us to put a wrench on this nut here. Just like that. You probably do it with your hand. It's not very tight. And then we're going to take this rod off. And screw our cap on. This does not have to be real tight. Compression tool. Put this up, and we're going to tighten our cap up. All right, so once you got your uh, cap threaded by hand, pretty good ways down. And the toolkit is this um, this cap tightener because it's got it doesn't have. You don't want to use this nut that adjusts the compression. You want to use this here. It's got three little uh, bob, bobs on it, and you're just going to. Getting that tight, and then torque it down. And again, the specs are in the instructions. Once you got that torqued, you have one leg done. Again, this is not a very uh, difficult process. It's just a little bit of time consuming, and you want to take your time with it to make sure all the parts are in order, and that you don't uh, either lose anything or get dirt inside. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, get these on the bike, and give it a test out. I know that um, Nitron's known for fan, uh, some fantastic uh, suspension, so get this on, and um, thanks for watching. If this uh, video helps you out, by all means, give it a thumbs up. Please leave any comments in the bottom if you, need to, if you have any questions. Um, I will respond to those as quickly as I can, and share the video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe, and... Uh, Check out my blog at BackcountryAdventureMotorsports.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Nitron Suspension, Kyle from Backcountry Adventure Motorsports. I'm out.